Kitty says hello. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Ask It Eric. This week's question comes from Clay Davies, and he writes in, Pop quiz, hot shots. There's a bomb on a bus. Once the bus goes 50 miles an hour, the bomb is armed. If it drops below 50, it blows up. What do you do? What do a you do? Uh, don't let the bus get above 50 miles an hour. Pull it over and get the bomb squad to remove the bomb. Well, that's it for this week's Asking Eric. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, I can't fool you. You could still see that there's timer left in the timer time. Timey, whimey, whim. Boop. Smarty pants. But seriously, dude, you tipped your hand so fucking early, man. Terrorist mastermind? More like terrorist disaster mind. BOOM! You just sabotaged your plan before it even got started. It's like you're afraid of success or something. Like, you don't know what you would do if one of your evil plans actually came to fruition. And I can sympathize. I feel your pain. Okay? I know what you're thinking. My father was Cobra Commander. His father before him was Snidely Whiplash. His father before him was that weird bear cat thing from Steamboat Willie. All of them fought against the status quo of good, and all of them had nothing to show for it but a heaping helping of humiliation, served up with a funnel right up the ass like so much boxed wine and a frat hazing gone wrong. Failures in my blood. I don't deserve success. Well, I'm here to tell you, that is absolute fucking bullshit. Stinking thinking never got anyone anywhere. Except for the guy that figured out that animal shit can make his crops healthier. That's the only time it's ever worked. That and when you dutch up into your brother so bad that he actually started hallucinating, like, Grandpa! Grandpa! I can see you again! That's the only other time it's ever worked. You need to get up, look in the mirror, and say, Hey, self, I can do this. The sheeple need a shepherd who's forthright about his evilness. Not like the U.S. government. The U.S. government's gonna smile in your face and shake your hand with one hand while using its super extendo plastic man arms to reach around behind your back with the other hand, and you'll think the other hand is held firmly down at the government's side, but that's because your eyes are up here, because you look a man in the eye when he talks, because your mother raised you right. But the government's gonna reach around behind you with that other hand and stab you right in the brainstem with one of those stiletto things that its finger's gonna turn into like the T-1000 when he stabbed that dude at the beginning of Terminator 2. Okay? Because that's what the government does. They bend you over and fuck you in the ass. Except in this situation where they leave you standing straight up and fuck your brainstem's ass by stabbing it. But that's not what you do. You stab people's fronts. And they say, thank you for your honesty. Or, depending on where you stabbed them. So you need to set goals for yourself. Maybe make some spreadsheets. Set up a flowchart or two. Definitely get one of those giant maps of the city so that you can put push pins into it so that your plan can unfold itself in the shape of an ironic smiley face. People fucking love that. Just heed my advice, and you will be the supreme commander of the sovereign state of New New York before you can say Eric Lingenfelter has the fattest, dumbest cat of all time. Look at this fucker. So big!